Hello world, this is JWP, Jboard Primo Beats, coming to you live from my home studio. Check my website, jwpsite.com, for my social links, latest news and updates, and public offerings. My Twitch, JWP Stream, YouTube at JWPTube, Facebook, JWP Meta. If you'd like to help support what I do, check out my Patreon, JWP Patreon, that's with two Ps. There's exclusive content there for making your own audio plugins and send edit, as well as the prefabs for this series. Or my GoFundMe, JWP Fund, or my PayPal, JWPMAS at gmail.com. I'll be continuing along with the Visual VSTI book. Specifically, though, I will be finishing up where I left off with linking sliders, and that's just finish building the um, actual body of the plugin. So, yeah. And I just want to check. Okay, so this is connected to signal, which is not supposed to be. It's supposed to be connected to pitch. Or not gain, rather. Gain, and this one here, gain. So it's just going to be a lot of copying and pasting, and I'm wondering what's the fastest way. If connecting it once and then programming them is faster than copying this and plugging them in. I think probably just um, entering the value, opposed to just entering the values, right? I think entering the values would probably be the fastest way. And that's for the bandwidth. So, because it's two connections to one entry, right? So I'll just do that. That's for the width. I just want to double check that it's connected right. Again, width. Width and game. Okay. As far as pitch, there's not much I can do about that. I'm going to have to manually go in. Perhaps I can make a lead. Sort of a value for each one. That way I don't have to program two. But then that's another module, right? That's slow down. So, best way would probably be manually. Just so there's no slowdown. Yeah. I mean, it's like very small amount of solo realm, but it's efficiency, right? So that's done. Am I ready to start copying and pasting here? Well, I'll start and I'll find out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this, paste, <clears throat> and then connect up these values again. Then what I'm going to do here is multiply. By that I mean, oops, I can get this to move. Just keep it getting sort of in line. Okay, so that's that's totally out of line now. Doesn't match here. Not the biggest deal. Just I like things to match. So what I mean by multiply is I'm just going to grab everything here. And I'm going to containerize that, and then I have just these two plugs. And I'll copy that and drop it again. And then plug them in. And that saves me a bit of patching. And containerizing. So around here and containerize this one. Okay. And I have four. At this point, I should also be, I will actually also be putting them in serial here. And just because if I multiply this again, I'm going to get eight and there's only 10. So I'm going to drop another two just off to the side before I multiply these again. So here's the extra two. Then I'm going to grab all this and containerize that. And then just copy that, paste it over here. So it's nice and close to the plugs. Connections, move this over. Move this over here and uncontainerize this. There's four. And before I uncontainerize that, I should move them around here. That's another thing maybe it'd be best to do. Just to get them out of the way, I'm going to hide these other ones, the first run there. I'm not sure why I have so many. I think there's a control on parent, that's what it is. There's eight there, right? 
8, 7, 8, 6. Is there six? There's only four there. Okay, the way I'm going to take these and I'm just going to containerize them so they're out of the way. Just keep them for reference for now and making sure controls on parent is off. So these ones, controls on parent are off. Okay, so there's eight there because there's two, right? Not sure where the other ones are. So I'm just going to push control A. I'm going to drag these down and see if they're hiding so they're not. I'm not sure why I have only six and which are which here. So this is the point it's best to do this. Get the GUI in order before it becomes a mess later. So it's one and that's two. And this is three. This is four. Let's say four A. This is 3B, left, right, right, 3 right, 1 right, and 4 right. So oh, they're on top of each other. That's where that other one was. Okay. And then, yeah, 2 right. Okay. So now that they're nice and lined up, can go ahead and containerize and copy that. We should just delete this one. And then again, containerize. And copy and paste and this saves me a bunch of patching okay so i'm gonna unwrap this one or uncontainerize up here just make sure it looks there it's fine and then get this one uncontainerized move this up here and i'll get them in serial now Okay, it's a little bit of space there. Let's close that up. And that looks fine. Edit. Now, I'm not sure where they are. So what I'll do to find out is I will grab these last four here. Put this down. Synthetic window management is awful. Okay, there. Now, last two here. Get them connected. Or someone have to arrange them. the last two in sequence. And I'll just get them in serial now. And of course they're all over the place, so I'm gonna have to figure out which is which. Small oversight I could have done earlier, however, it's getting done. Okay, so it's one, one left, and this will be two left, one right, and two right. In actuality, they're eight and or nine and ten, right? Okay, let's get this in mine. They look a little bigger than the other sliders. Place them and then I'll figure stuff out later. Okay, so link on. And yes, it's working. Link off. It's off. Okay, just zero those out for a preset here. As so well, zero that out. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to save. Well, I could just save right where the old one I suppose. This is where it's at, right? Just going to look at. Previous version here. Um, no, no. Okay, yeah, so that's pretty much where it's at. Then I'll save that. EQ2, what's the container name? Tenban EQ, called linked. Not quite done yet. However, I'm going to get rid of this. Not that this. Get rid of that, and then I'll get things happening here as far as an input output. So that's left channel, right channel. Let's see what the prefab says input one, input two. That's <coughs> one, and input two. 
All right, so everything is pretty much done. All I have to do really is to do the program. So I got one out of this step. Perhaps I deleted that other one a little too early. So what I'll do, I'll just reopen it. Um, yeah, yes. And what's the stepping here? Two, three, four. Okay, so it's incrementally, there's no halves or anything. Let's close that. So it's just by one, two, three, and so, and so forth. Three, four, five, and six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, perhaps I should have kept that other one open as well. However, I do have the values up here, right? So they're here as well. I'll go look for the actual chart here. And skip the first one. So that's ten, right? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so it's eleven. However, we ignore the sixteen. So starting from the right here, sixteen. This hurts, right? Let's copy that. Hit enter to make sure it enters it. Drop it there. Enter again. Eight hundred or eight k, rather. Copy enter and. Paste enter 4k 4000 copy enter and paste enter. Continuing along, I'm just gonna hide these other ones so I know that they're done. And it's just half and half and half, right? So it'd be 2k copy enter paste enter down 1k down it's 500 okay and I can't move anymore so 250 and 250 and let's have 250 that'd be 125 I don't want to be wrong so 125. For that would be 67.5, 67, 63. 63. So kind of rounding up. No half numbers, they said 63. And then 31.5 is already in there. So they did the half number there. I'm not sure why. So 125 is, 2 is, yeah, 62.5. All right, so everything is programmed. However, I still have to get the readouts too. So that will be here. So it'll be like 32.5. Yeah, okay, so that's where I want it. Well, just moving down here. List. How does that look in the prefab? Of course, there's no visual. Well, there is. Okay, so they only use it once. Sort of a bit way to save space, right? Hmm. So I gotta knock out the second ones. I'll start like that. Let's knock out the second ones, and it does in fact save a bit of space. And I want the prefabs to be. I want them to match the references. So go ahead and knock out the titles for all these controls. <clears throat> And then I'll head to the GUI here and just move them up. 
tight. And then I'll continue along with programming the names here. So 63. And then 125, 50, 100, oops, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 8,000, and 1,600. 16,000 rather. Okay, so nearing the end here, I'm gonna line up this gain in this link. Perhaps the gain is going to also need to be a same type of control. So I'm just gonna grab this and drop it here just so things line up and look consistent. And then I'll rip out the internals here, which are required. This is so animation position, value to that, and value out. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's got to be careful with floats because we can't add when using floats, right? As well, the title is gain. And let's go to level one and two. Input level. Uh, doesn't work. Just gonna delete that then, get that out of the way. Like I said, they can't connect two two values to one float, right? They can't add. And then I gotta reset this. So this is negative 18 to plus 18. It's in range, I believe that's what it said in the book. And that's done. Now I'll get it in place. Perhaps I can squish things down and turn on put link on this side just so there's enough space because it doesn't look like there's going to be enough space for the label and the game and the switch. And also, one, two, three, four. It looks like it's going to have to be off a little bit, which is fine. It's down. It out, Just throw it out, throw it over there for now. So, take a lot of space and get the line up. And it comes down to one, two, three, four, right? Okay, so that's all lined up. Hopefully, it doesn't move, it might move, right? That's fine. Sometimes, when you move things that are coupled together, the it's things that are off grid will snap to grid. That's like I'm safe. There, yeah, same size. Yeah. Hopefully. All right, and then the preset browser. I'm gonna move things over here. This is centered. I believe this is right against the corner. Pull this forward over here. Oops, too far. It's following the bottom half. So that readout thing as well is gonna have to come back there. Here, so move that to the center. Yeah. Okay. So it's done. As far as I know, the link is off. Gain is zero. No presets. Oh, it's done. It's not even linked in. Right? Okay. So I'll bring this into this position here. This is the output. So for the most part, it was done. Just need to be. Last right, and of course, this thing did it reset itself here. Did, I don't know what moved, and of course, we're using a high shelf to control, which is just sitting at zero, right? Tools, <clears throat> and that's the best way to get to decibel from uh, volts in my, in my experience right now because there isn't really anything that does, I don't think, which is unfortunate. We go conversion, unit converter, unit converter. We do have volts to dB here by decibel. Exponential, which is not the same thing as linear. It's 
spot somewhere. Let me see. That's not exponential. It's not linear. Look at the help. Technical tutorials, signal of conversion here. Voltage to volume. So we have linear, there's decibel and exponential. So it won't be the same thing. This is the best way to get linear response from the keynote. All right. So now I believe it's done. So I'll give that a save. And that will be available on my Patreon. Another short video just to finish up the link and the 10 band parametric EQ. Yeah. Check out my website, jwpsite.com, for my social links, latest news and updates, and public offerings. If you liked also my Twitch, JWP stream, YouTube at JWPTube, Facebook, JWP Meta. If you'd like to help support what I do, check out my Patreon, JWP Patreon, with that's with two Ps. There's exclusive content there for making your own audio plugins and synth edits. My GoFundMe, JWP Fund, and, or my PayPal, JWPMAS at gmail.com. As well, the presets, prefabs are available on the Patreon for this series. If you're watching this on YouTube, a like, comment, and or subscribe are appreciated. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Are talking to each other. Mm -hmm.